Okay, so take this in guys. I sold a regal flower for literally one oh my gosh bro. I I just can't. I just I honestly can't. Like I posted this for sixty nine thousand six hundred and ninety six crowns bid only. It sold for one hundred forty three K, meaning that somebody must be working on a yellow costume, which I was actually hoping for. Cause it's pretty common and it's quite nice. The Regal Flower, I got this from a copper lockbox which I opened. Turns out I actually open up a lot of lockboxes nowadays cause, you know, I have the money to do so. So I'm like, hey, it's a good way to grab some good accessories and items to flip as a merchant. And I highly recommend you guys to check it out cause a lot of you guys get those free lockboxes like the silvers, the irons, the gold, etc. You know, and I mean, those ones aren't necessarily as good. I mean, if you actually go on the wiki, Oh, wrong thing. I'll show you guys right now. Um, oh, Savant's pretty lit. Yo, you guys should also check out his, his, um, whatchamacallit. Music's pretty cool. You guys said you're making a vid. Yeah, I am still. Ah, oh, you can hear me. Nice, nice. You can join in if you want. I'm just showing these guys, like, some quick merging tips. Um, so, let's see. We can... And then we're gonna go ahead and grab the lock boxes. And then from here, you guys can see all the different kind of lock boxes which are available in SK. And a lot of you guys need to realize first off, let me just talk about the iron lock box, the good old traditional I'm gonna be there for you whenever you need me kind of lock box. Ain't no promotion shit, it's just gonna be there, okay? So, iron, Mr. Iron, you can get from this a flame aura, a nice aura that was that was mostly popular back in like 2013 2014 it started to die down 2012 but 2012 2013 the flame aura was really nice it went on your snarvy went on your vog you know it was pretty it was pretty nice ghostly aura unlike the haunted aura where it shows like these little ghouls surrounding you that just go in a circle the ghostly aura actually like radiates some kind of like um let's just say like a seeping gas but it's ghostly you know twilight aura is actually pretty much the most expensive aura in the game if I recall I don't think there's anything more expensive than that in terms of auras I could be wrong but I mean I've only gotten one of those personally and I've only had that back in the day like when I say back in the day I mean back when I was mini Meta Knight starting off and I got it from the very first iron lockbox which I opened ironically I got the lockbox for free I paid for the key because I'm like how do I open this and I only need a silver key me who's actually spending money on the game and like, I can't buy a fucking key buy the key, use it, I get a Twilight Aura, everyone in Haven is like, holy shit, and I'm like, yeah, holy shit, bro, isn't this worth a lot of money? Because, like, everyone's, like, you know, saying, like, everyone's freaking out, and I didn't know how much it was worth, so this guy named JSSR, right, he offers me 1.5 mil crowns. Me? I'm, like, a noob, back in, like, 2012, like, early, early 2012, I was a noob, I didn't know the value of that shit, so I'm like, yo, 1.5 mil? Seven digits of crown? Yo, give me that shit right now, bro. I took that deal, and then this guy just took that and he flipped it like instantly bro he flipped it instantly for like 3 mil like in the same haven to a guy like right there bro I'm like wait what? and he's like yeah bro like this is actually worth a lot of money and shit but I feel bad still so here's 500k I'm like oh jeez bro he, so he gave me 500k from that but it's like oh bro like <laughs> it's pretty funny man but yeah, anyways, you can get that from a lockbox. You can get the unclean aura as well, which is it's like pretty much flies that just circle you. And I think it has like a little bit of a brown kind of seeping gas kind of effect as well, if I'm not mistaken. Though it could be just flies. People use it on their snobby mostly. Um, viralisk as well, deadly viralisk of course. Barrel bellies, you all know what those are. Binocular visors, bolted bees, bombandos. Canteens, calm units, dapper combos, flowers. Um, flowers are actually really nice. Mostly they sell for, I uh, normally say 60 to 80k, and that's true. Um, though some of them actually go for a lot more, like the divine flower can easily grab 140k. Um, the prismatic flower, pff, pff, don't even talk about that, bro. Don't, don't even talk about prismatic flower, guys. Please don't even talk about it unless you have cha ching, cha ching in the account, okay? Like, I'm talking like 40k ZE. People will pay that. Yo, I've seen a prismatic flower go for 60k C. Like, yo, people paid money. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, prismatic flower, prismatic scarf. People paid ridiculous. Yo, I've seen a prismatic scarf sell for like 9, 9. Point, what was it for the other day? Like 9.6? I'm like, dude, 9.6 mil. Like, 
you know, like, <laughs> that's from the scars, and you can't get those from this, by the way. Um, other scars are worth, like, um, I would say 150 to up to 300k. Um, Volcanics, Shadows, can, Shadow, 300k. Shadow, 300, maybe 350k, you know. But yeah, the Iron Lockbox gives you, like, all, like, the most, like, basic day one, gen one, everything that came from day one, pretty much. Like, all the main, the staple items from the game that are non-promo related. Prismatic, Shadow, Divine, Fancy, Toasty, Regal, Cool, Dusky, Military. Like, all those stuff, you're going to find it from the lockbox from these base items. Then from there, you're also going to have the Iron, I, ah, Mirrored Lockbox. From here, this actually does not share anything with the Iron Lockbox, if I'm not mistaken. All you can really get from these are either Height Modifiers or Eyes. And as you guys know, it's like, a, like you know, the Heart Eyes, there's the X Eyes, the Determined Eyes, Angry Eyes, Almond Eyes. I think there's Heart Eyes. Oh no, there aren't Heart Eyes. Dead. Happy Eyes. My mistake. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch of Eyes over here. Not th They're not really worth that much. Those Starry... Oh yeah, there were hard eyes. Yeah, I remember that now. Someone's using that. Yeah, cause I did see it. Snowflake eyes. Interesting. Those may be worth actually more than normal. I haven't seen those ones around personally or anyone wearing them. Hmm. Interesting. Anyhow. Titanium lockbox. These ones I actually have. I don't know how many lockboxes I got. Oh, uh, shit. Let me just accept this shit. Hmm. I gave, I sent this guy money as a friend and some shit, and he never accepted, ironically, so I get my money back and shit, okay, found me, sold this, sold for bid, whatever, I got that for free, anyways, in terms of lock boxes, if I show you guys, right here, I have no more coppers, so it's like, I'm not gonna go on and like, use any of these lock boxes, reason being is because I feel like the copper lock box has the best prize pool, and I'm gonna show you guys why. Mirror lockbox can give you height modifiers, the extra ones, not like not like normal tall or normal short. I'm talking about extra tall, extra short. Those sell for like one point. No, actually, they sell for one. Technically, as low as one mil, all the way up to like one point five mil. I've seen the extra short go for one point eight. Like back in the day when they first came out, people like really into them, but now they're selling for like one point five. I sold mine personally for one point five like two weeks ago. Okay, and then eyes. I already talked about those titanium lock boxes. They pretty much share the same price pool with the um, iron lock box, which is just these from that iron lock box price pool. So you don't even have a chance of getting the twilight aura, the unclean aura, the flame aura, any of those goodies from the iron lock box. So it's pretty much just adding extra shit, literally extra shit to the lock box price pool. And on top of that, you're getting headlamp, munition pack, the breather, or vile bandle. Nothing good. The only possible good thing is a flame vile bandolier, which is really, really rare. Like. <laughs> really rare. Well, technically there's more, but like those ones aren't even highly as sought out as the fire one. But like technically all those would at least be worth more than what you spend on the key. Um, you know, like I'm talking about I'd say 5 KCE you're grabbing for the fire vials. Poison and the shock ones I personally haven't sold. The shock ones may go for a fair bit if you pair with like a Merc demo. Some may want that like, you know. So pretty cool. Like these may actually sell for like easily 5 KCE because I've seen the fires go for that. So I wouldn't be surprised they can sell for like six. Um, about the steel lockbox now. And this one shares with the iron lockbox a possibility of getting a halo. So, um, volcanic halo, prismatic halo, divine halo. Okay, and then it also has a chance of getting the binocular visors, the helm mounted display, mayday, McTenna's vita kits, and wings. Talking about wings for me, we're talking about Gen One and Gen Two wings. Gen One wings being the plastic inanimate wings, and Gen Two wings being the um, which we call it dragon wings. Pretend I don't know if they have um Gen three wings in the silver lock box because it says shared pool with other lock boxes, meaning, and then they don't generally refer back to the iron lock box, which normally only had the Gen one and Gen two wings in them. But who knows? Maybe they got updated. I personally never got one, but maybe someone else has gotten wings that are Gen three or higher from silver lock boxes. I just don't think so. I mean, that came out in twenty fourteen other ways, so. I think Valk wings were just getting introduced. Silver lock box. Like, these are just regular wings. Okay, I was. Re oh, okay, yes, yeah, so it's just wing wings. Like, just regular wings. That you can possibly get. Gen 1 wings. And being inanimate. So. Okay. Inanimate wings. You can't even get anything really good from that. 
Oh, so you can only so it only gets a shared like okay, okay guys, take that in. So like even though it only gets a shared um amount of items from the iron lockbox, I wonder if it only gets a shared generation. Does this also have the ability of getting Gen 2 or only Gen 1? Okay, only Gen 1. So look, Iron Lot Box can only give you Gen 1 wings, which isn't horrible. Some of them can go for a fair bit. Now that they're you're at least getting your Silver Keys money back. As long as you always break even or get more from the box that you're opening is the goal. And the thing is, certain boxes pretty much almost guarantee that you break even or make a profit, like the Copper Lot Box. That's why it's really good. Silver lock box is not really that good. Giga chains will help you at least break even or flip for more. Intel tube no targeting module not really. You have to like hope for like the um, prismatics. Mm, it's not really that likely. Steel lock box now I don't really recommend it though. It's pretty decent. Like I can't say I don't recommend it. It's just that the arrow fins is what I happen to get from them a lot. Like you guys can tell. I went through a fair bit of my steel lock boxes. I only have one left. So, yeah, like, I'm really only doing copper lock boxes from now, and I'll show you guys in a second what you can possibly get. But arrow fins are, eh, they're alright. They make it look like a shark. You know, change your name to Jaws, you'd be, you know, eating shit and locked down. Just, dun 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 You've been killed by Jaws. Okay, anyways, ankle boosters, they're pretty good. You can sell them for, like, 300k if they are, like, a different variant from Frosty. Um, or even different from Wicked. I've personally um, paid like 300k for my Wicked ones, and I've seen other Wicked's go for like 350, 400k, almost 400k, like 380 something. And then like ankle boosters for like fancy, dusky, you can get like 400k for those easily. 450. I've seen one go for 500k. Technically 5k, which is like 483k around the time. Bolted V's and whatever, Mecha Wings, Spike Mohawks are pretty pretty good. I sold one to my boy Rog, Rog the Monster, if you guys may know him. Most likely if you follow the channel, of course. Sold him a Regal for like, you know, 60k, so I'm like, okay, I got that free, so let's flip that to you real quick. He flipped that for 100k himself, and like, you know, give my guildy profit, and I grabbed some profit. And like, so I'd say Spike Mohawks are pretty profitable, and you can easily break even if you buy the key for like, 60k um 65k at most but i would say 60k 50 to 60k is where you want to be buying your keys at 60 if you already have a copper lock box and you just want to open that shit asap but i would say if you're trying to stock up then like don't spend more than 15 just stock up stock up stock up like just take advantage when the deals maybe it's like 55k no it doesn't look anything under 60 is good like don't i wouldn't get greedy like i'm not a greedy bastard like that when it comes to well, stingy i should call myself i'm not that devious horns however they're not really that profitable like some people like them i think they look i but like they don't go on everything and like i mean what i mean by that is like you really have to hold that you get the specific kind of color to match your theme or else it's not going to work so like you may want to get devious horns on something and then you get devious horns and it turns out that oh it's the wrong theme this is going to stand out like a store zone and like my blazing plume people seem to hate on <sighs> fuck it i'm not gonna go look for it Oh my god. So look, my blazing plume here, people think it stands out. Like, dude, of course it stands out, but it's nice and vibrant. It's radiant. It, it just shines and glows. It's perfect and beautiful. Devious horns of the wrong theme. Hideous. Hideous, I tell you. Okay, shadow keys. You can get a shadow key from this. That's the only thing. That's the only profitable thing. <laughs> really. That's really the only profitable thing. This is not a good prize box for you guys to be wasting your money on. Copper lock box cover, this is what's shared. You get the added chance. Twilight Aura, Twinkle Aura, Flower, Prismatic Glow Eyes, wait, Wolvertail. What? Hold on. No, I didn't read that correctly. It's like, I read this before, but I'm trying to like, I'm just having the reaction that you guys would have, because like, this is what I had. So hold on, you can get a Twilight Aura, a Twinkle Aura, a Flower, Prismatic Glow Eyes, or a Wolvertail from this box. Yeah, you guys need to hop on that, but like, don't hop on that, cause like, I want all those boxes, so like, if you guys find them, I'll buy them off you. I'm actually not even joking, I'll actually legit give you guys a great offer for your copper lock boxes. So yeah, um, Twilight Aura, Twinkle Aura, like, I, I can repeat this over, Twilight fucking Aura, guys. I'm talking about these things selling for 80 KCE at the moment, not the moment, like, back when I got it, they weren't going for nearly as much, and they were going up to like 5 mil, you know? 
they weren't going for much because like everyone was doing lock boxes at the time and like everyone had iron lock boxes because like those are the only kind of lock boxes available you know back then <clears throat> back then at least so yeah like now they're worth a lot because not many people are opening those iron lock boxes everyone's into the newer ones which is, i mean the copper is quite nice anyways but yeah like the twilight aura is just worth a lot it's just prismatic aura uh, like fireflies and your color just flying around your night like it's just that god aura pretty much <laughs> flowers they sell as you guys can see i also sold a heavy flower for 70k just sold that for a bit i got that from another copper lock box long feathers sell easily 40 to 60k and then if you get like a prismatic or volcanic divine you can sell that for closer to 100k if it's prismatic then easily 100k you know if you just find the buyer and that's that's not even asking for much to be honest that's really not asking for much <laughs> that's just like you getting it from a lot box and be like hey you know what i'll give you the quick flip and i'm gonna use that to get a next box because i know i'm not gonna break even i mean i may have a better chance of getting profit than breaking even and if you don't make profit then you're just gonna break even so it's like what are, what are the what's the problem in doing so plus you're also making a new link when you do that transaction so as long as you're making profit and you're not like really skimping off on what kind of profit you're making if the deal is still going to go in your favor at the end of the day just take the deal guys and just grab an xbox and repeat the process that's why i say stock up on your boxes even if you don't have the keys because you know when you have a big sum of money or you find someone mass selling keys because like hey i got a shit ton of freaking silver keys let me just sell them off all quick then you know you can offer them a bulk offer and you can grab all the keys and just deal with it mass unboxing and haven everyone sees your stuff you know everyone's asking what you get what you get and you and you would think that it's annoying to get everything like that like you know everyone commenting on your shit but actually no it's giving you the attention you need to help you flip the items quickly and if you use that to your advantage and like perhaps let's say like you tell everyone what you're getting at the time you be, they may be like hey i know someone wants to buy that or like i'm looking for that myself or how much do you want you know sometimes they'll lowball you but if you know the value, all you gotta do is be like, yo, dog, like, I'm not gonna accept your fucking shitty offer. Like, yo, give me something proper. This is what I'm actually wanting for it. Be like, hey, I want 150k instead of 75k. You know, like, I'm actually taking the proper value for this. And they'd be like, okay, you know what? I'll give you 150. And they'd be like, okay, fine, I'll take 150. You know, even though it would be worth, like, 175, just because you would have made more money than what you would have spent on the key right there. I mean, like, you can actually grab another key and have profit left over from that profit like it's just it's great you can just continue the process so it's like you can't really lose out on this guy you can't just binoculars but like come on come on plumes i got a dusky plume you just gotta hug the l that was like once headbands i haven't even gotten headbands from that like they're not gonna diss me like that they're not gonna diss you guys like that unless you like really like piss off sk you know gold lock boxes mm, canteen glasses main headband mustache ribbon and toupee I believe no it's on it's on my alt. Got divine mustache that I'm flipping. But like canteen, yeah, like this one isn't the best. I wouldn't really go for the gold lock boxes because they simply don't have anything that's really profitable. You know, like you really have to be going for things like the prismatic glasses or prismatic canteen. Prismatic ribbon's actually worth a lot. Prismatic toupee is not really going for that much. I mean I personally trade in mine. Like, I traded a, a cool to my rage for one, but it was off a friend, and she's a friend of mine. So, like, I don't know, maybe it's worth a lot more, and I just, you know, didn't know the toupee is worth more. But I would only say that they go for 200k tops, prismatic toupees, but hey, they could be going for more, and I'm just, like, talking shit, and I actually don't know. Because I only bought one, and I only seen, like, one go for 188, so, who knows. Slime lot boxes, you can get known containers, which people actually like. The prismatic known containers have gone for 10k easily. Slime crusher, slime walls, I mean, you're really just looking for people who actually want them for their costumes, really. Uh, like, they're not really gonna want that as an actual shield unless they're getting it really cheap. Like, I'm talking about, like, unless you're selling it for, like, 200k, maybe 300k, you know, like, they're not really going for that much. Rather than tangible, on the other hand, you can get 5k CE for those, or even 8k CE. I've seen prismatic rather than tangible going for 12, 15k CE easily. Like, when they're actually selling in the masses now they're a bit more rare so they could be going for more no slime masks and slime guards and they're just soft you know prize boxes on the other hand aren't the same as lock boxes prize boxes don't require keys to open now i have the arcane halo that i'm flipping for my boy and you get that from the nemesis prize box literally the second no the first prize box my bad the first prize box 
ever release an SK and I knew that. <laughs> so it's like if you guys want to go back and you can see what you can get from this, you can get the super rare 1.5 percent. Zero. Oh my god, bro. The 1.5 percent arcane halo, guys. Like from the very, very first event, like the very first prize box. This it is nowadays it is so rare that the only ones that exist in the game are used and you have to unbind it like you can literally find like if you were to if SK were to scan everyone's inventory you would literally find like three to at most five unused arcane halos that nobody just like even talks about or like I just don't know about that like are in other people's inventories you know like maybe like old players who like quit the game and just had that shit on it you never know but like that's how rare it is you know, and then you can also get a volcanic halo, divine valves. Oh my gosh! Like this was the prize box that you guys really wanted to grab. I saw one that sold the other day. It was going for 250k bid, 450k buyout. I bid on it, and guess what? Somebody bought it out for 450k, and I'm like, oh boy, I should have bought it. Cause who knows? Who knows? I'm actually coming to think of it. Have I seen any of these pop on the auction house recently? No, I haven't. So maybe they used it? Maybe it was a variant ticket? Hmm. Maybe they sold it and I just didn't know? Hmm. Okay. But yeah, guys, like, the Nemesis prize box is really, really good. Winterfest prize box is also good. The dangerous is I obsidian's I. There's a whole bunch of prize boxes. I'm not even really gonna get into all of them because everything has their pre like everything has their rarity item. But like when it comes to prize boxes, your goal is to just simply grab them for 200k or less if they're like worth it. I mean that is like if it's actually from a time where people really want the accessory or the costume that comes from it, you know, like not something that is really limited, like the dangerous. I mean, dangerous is actually pretty decent. Like when I say limited, I mean like frosty. You don't want to go for those. And then, well, I can't even diss frosty. What can I truly diss? Like, come on, I got five. I can actually diss. Cause like, you know, something that people don't really. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Okay, okay, so like this stuff, like right here, people don't mind the accessories and costumes from them, but it's like, you're not, you, you don't really have the best chance of grabbing the best accessories from these. So it's like, you're not going to want to spend 200k on a slumber. And like the reason why I would say that is solely because I had bad luck when it came to these kind of lock boxes like the slumber the peridot the sapphire the autumn the opal you know like all the gemstone ones like i personally had to buy them outright like i literally ended up spending like 30 freaking kz on my turquoise aura and like i bought my turquoise disciple wings for like 11 kc because i'm like yo fuck these prize boxes <laughs> you know so like that's me being biased but like a lot of people would be like dude like you're high bro like 200k for a prize box of that caliber you could potentially get a gemstone aura or some sort of disciple wings for 200k uh, i mean i understand that but for, it's just from my experience i haven't had any good luck with those ones but it's like you know Warcraft, you can you can get some pretty some stuff that always sells at least like you're gonna get gas lamps you can get Oh, the tome. Yeah, I, th I think it was like a tomb stack or like it was one of these like these pedestals. I forgot what what they called it. But they also have tome stacks. They have um oh jeez, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Like I can get into this real quick because all these things sell. Oh yeah, the zombie bellhop. Those sold for a fair bit. The gas lamps. Yeah, those. Here it was, the cursed tome stack. Angel, all, any of the tome stands really those are rare those are two percent those are the rare ones and then the curious mew cat as well and then the zombie bell hop on this side i haven't really seen many of the curious mew cats but the zombies i've seen around they're really they're really cool okay so yeah guys like all i recommend in the end is simply 
using your money wisely guys like I highly recommend just taking your time going through the auction house I'm just gonna go pop into my guild hall real quick show you guys some stuffs I don't mind if this video is a bit long like it's been a while since I didn't upload so I want to give you guys something thorough something nice and thorough and you guys owe, I owe you guys a nice explanation in terms of making money and methods so um let's see let's see let's see so that yeah this oh selling materials guys easily 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 makes you some money I made this tier sold god damn selling materials sell easily guys reason being is because hey if you can buy the material that you need to make the item to make the gear that you want and then do dark fire vanaduke or any other layer if it's if you just don't want to do the layer that you have to do to get that specific item then hey you're pretty much free so I'm, I mean that one sold by 16 I'll, I'll do it for that reason being is because I have another one I don't really I don't really care about it I already got this for free from the runs that I've been doing so this is just quick flips that I can put towards rolling UVs or buying more keys or doing stuff like that you know starting bid it doesn't need to be super low like and this could easily sell for a bit more I'm actually being a bit stingy there well a bit too generous I should say so maiden's tier is gonna sell again cause that one sold for that like this is easily bumping it up so that's gonna go up there and now if you guys see it mine's the cheapest by a long shot now the ones that sell for a lot gramlonium those easily sell for 40k 30k I sold mine recently for 36 969 crowns people don't like doing red romulus twins it's just pretty much cancerous for shock and fire you just get wrecked so I mean if you, if you don't know what you're doing that is <laughs> So yeah, I mean, many people just say, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna just go ahead and buy the Gremlonium outright and then just go do Darkfire Vanaduke, make 30k in the run, sell my maintenance tier for 16k, and boom, that pretty much covers most of my, um, well, it covers my Gremlonium charge, you know, so, that's, that is what it is, I mean, the other things you guys can flip is like regular materials, pet food, pet food sells quite well, I mean, you can also flip Enamel Rocks, I bought 30... I bought no I bought 34 yeah I bought 34 yesterday so I mean you know we're just doing lockdown if last network is up then do that you can make quick chromo coins and you can go ahead and flip enamel rocks they're more profitable than mod calibrators um if you go back to end time in short you can see everything that's on sale there's some of the divine mustache for 57k so I get to see how much mine's going for. This is my fancy spike mohawk. I put that for 69, 696 bid. Now it's going for 72. Military grand. Nothing really profitable at the moment. Yeah, nothing. I won't find it until late. Well, it's my fault for scrolling through that. Let's just go individually. For swords, you, I'll show you how I do it. For swords, you want to check out the variant items. CTR Med Brandish is going for 2 out to be profitable. That bid price is decent. Though it's too long to actually do anything about. CTR Med. If you want to make a Rigadoon and screw around with charges, that's nice, but the price is bad. And then nothing else is going to be nice. As you can see, the Node Crushers, Node Slide Crushers aren't even going for much. Handguns, the same thing, variants, you want to look for your CTR auto guns, these ones are ASI, there's a CTR med auto gun that sold for 260k two days ago, interesting, so I actually wanted it for my alt which runs BKH and Chaos Cloak, but hey, I didn't want to pay that kind of money because I know I can get a cheaper fiery pepper box that can be turned into a volcanic pepper box, can easily be flipped or just used and it's a good price. But nothing much here. Electron charges, someone mass spammed them and finally got CTR med. I would actually like a CTR med electron charge for my alt, so I will indeed bid on that once the time um, shortens up. So I'm going to go ahead and make one. Nah, I'll have to go ahead and make another, I would say 500k, 600k. Just so then after I grab this, I'm not under a mill. 
I just don't like being under a mill. Like right now, I'm just going ahead and going on like a quick flip spree, so I'm over that. And then once I'm over that, I can start buying shit. So I need to work fast. I just doing this video to show you guys how to do so. Um, variants. I'm working through variants on everything right now. Wolvercoat Shock Med. You know, it's just there. If you guys want to start a new a new gear, like if you want to start a Snarby Coat or a Scover Coat or a Rock Cup Coat, you know. You guys have the option to just grab it a quick shock man. I mean, 30k is 30k. Like, I personally wouldn't exactly buy it unless I'm I need to make one ace out. Then I'll be like, hey, screw it. Like, but I wouldn't really mind hugging that as an L. Cause I wouldn't really call it an L. Like, I mean, it's shock man. Like, it's whatever. Like, I'll take it. You know. But I mean, hey, I'm here with shock maxes and shock highs and shit. Like, who am I? Who am I kidding, bro? Like, talking about like shock fucking maxes, shock fucking highs, like another shock. Oh my gosh, bro, like, wait, 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 something's off, I should have more shock, yeah, like, shock high piercing eye, I mean, I mean, normal is also good, this one needs to be worked on, this one's, like, useless in a sense, this one is pretty decent, this one is pretty good, this one's I. this one's just for show with accessories, really, this one's just ridiculous. Like I didn't even heat it up to the max yet. Like what the fuck? Wait, why am I why am I in my arsenal so long? Like so nice when I doing something here, like <laughs> Okay, um Recipes. Oh yeah, you guys can flip those. Definitely. Recipes can be easily flipped depending on which one you have. The Falcon Shade recipes go for a lot of money because they're really good for hybrid users. And the gunner update pretty much gave these options for PvE gunners as well. Like the Firefly Shade is really nice if you want to do it in FSC. It's quite nice. Um, Dark Bar Barrage is pretty decent. But what I recommend looking for is things like, you know, Gilded Griffin, Grand Foss, Divine Avenger, Barber's Thorn Shield, Barber's Thorn Blade. Wildfire, Polaris, um, I'm talking about five stars, so Sacred Falcon, Shade Armor Recipe in the Helm, Sacred Falcon, Sentinel Recipe for both the Helm and the Armor, um, Pathfinder Falcon is, no, not Shade, Pathfinder Falcon is alright, though I don't see many people running it to be honest, um, Arcana Recipes for sure, but like, those are, those are, highly abundant like they're just abundant in general so i mean you're gonna have a difficult like a difficult time selling them from over 32k um but when they first came out they're selling for 40 42k back when the gunner update like i've even sold seen some sold for 50k <laughs> so yeah um hmm. all right yeah like, i mean i'll have that many recipes learned like I wanna, I need to grab the, what should I call it, the, uh, oh, I do wanna grab it, there's a falcon, there's a falcon pathfinder what I wanna grab, let me find it, here, play the falcon pathfinder helps, I have the four star, so I need the three star, oh, so I should have taken it when he offered me, to, oh, wow, see, I'm like, do you need it, I'm like, no, I think I have it, no, I had the freaking four star, not the three stars, I should have grabbed it, fuck. Okay. Anyways, guys, so as I said, just simply looking on the auction house for, like, good deals. There's nothing really here that's highly profitable. No containers could sell for, like, 150k, like, of this caliber. Um, this, like, regular tier. The regal no container. Mmm... Golden Laurel is now selling for 300k. They used to easily sell for, like, 50k, 100k back in the day bars holy shit like <laughs> i'm just here to like, teaching people to make money and i'm rapping at the same time now i know how jay-z does it <laughs> fancy no container in jk this guy must be smoking some high grade snoop dog kush like what the fuck hunter no container one mil bro yo you guys need to go take a nap like yo i want you to uh, 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 i'll wait to see what happens is hunter no container I'll honestly have to, like, I'll honestly have to slap myself if this gets a bid. I will slap myself if this gets a bid, and I'll record it. Real shit. But I honestly do not think it's gonna get a mill. Fancy no container, I know I'm not getting 800k. Stop this. I got my, my fancy no container for 200k. Like, stop the bullshit. Like, you know, like, the auction house makes me laugh sometimes. Like, that's why I don't even bother with it most of the time. I like checking out the forums. 
highly recommend you guys checking out the Spiral Knights forums as well if you guys aren't a part of it like it's really good like I have like a whole bunch I have my own forum out what was it called I think it was this one this is so old though like I haven't even updated it recently like I need update like I've like this is my own shop like but yeah like these are sold I gotta update this this has been yeah like all right so anyways you guys pretty much flip this is what I buy them for this is what I sell them for I mean I think it's what I sell them for yeah that's what I sell them for so I tell people if you ever need a shaman material just call at me and I'll get it for you so like if someone wants to buy your gremlonium I'll simply fly an RRT real quick so I know I'm making a lot of money off it and I'll just find the party I'll just grab a key real quick and charge everyone to go along with me and I make my profit real quick. They want to buy a Celestial Ore, I'll do the run real quick. You know, if I have a key. But it's not even like that. Like, for Celestial Ore, I wouldn't even do it by doing a run. I'll almost like we have some that I'll either buy for like 6 point something K on the auction house or I would have done it already. Because so I do it relatively often anyways. I would already have it in stock when I need to go fly for that. Gremlonium is what I'll actually like, go do the run for most of the time. Like, sometimes I have them in stock. Nightmare mains I have them in stock. Maidens tears I have extras in stock like almost all the time. Selling this stuff if you guys are interested. But yeah, like you know, I'm making your own forum post, guys. I highly recommend it, and you can go ahead and like flip everything that you have and let everyone know. Yeah, everyone who's interested in buying things, they'll come and search it. They'll be like, hey, I wonder if anyone's selling an ASI blaster. They'll put it in the search, and then you'll be if you're selling an ASI blaster within your forum post, I'll link you to theirs, and then boom you can go and get that deal done so as you see everybody just post their stuff people want to buy Margo slots for their wicked whiskers to make their black cat raiment and stuff um you know someone has dark fangs triple maxes gm weapons walker sets blah blah that sounds more than blah blah so let's check it out no more shadow shock holy fuck Sleep, curse, sapphire, stun med, poison, eye, freeze, eye. Mm. Mm. I don't even just in that BKC. I actually need to upgrade, so I'm gonna offer. I'm actually gonna offer that for that BKC. I'm interested in that. Triple max BKC, I should hopefully be able to spend that for like 150 KC. I'm hoping to get it for 100. Should be able to get it for 100 though. Normal max, shadow max, shock max. Like they no, I'm pretty sure should already have an offer of 80 KC for that. Twilight or uh, no one even offer? What the fuck, yo? I'm starting low. Okay, I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with. Oh, it's a quitting sale though. Like fuck, like, maybe I'm just over offering. Cause I know that you can get 150 KC for that. But it's like I'll use it. So and I need a cat cow. So like I could sell mine. So like, what do I wanna offer, yo? I wanna start at 50. Hmm, it's a quitting sale. I'll offer 50 for the quitting sale. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'll offer 50. BKR, Fire, Shock, Curse, Triple Max, Snabico, Normal, Shadow, Fire, Twilight, and Shadow, Fox. Like, what the fuck? What are you on? Fire Max, Curse Max, Shock Man, Cranial Mill, Shock Cut, like. Shadow Max, Dark Fainage, LA Max, Norman, oh my. GM Voltage, GM Atron. To Bubbly Kush, I'm sure. Hmm. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my offer. Cause I like that um cowl, not cloak. I like that cowl. Wait, it's Ellie Ellen game. Nope. Fuck it, what am I gonna reply on the forums? Like that's gonna take time.
all I gotta do. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be a nice topper to my set, guys. I'm gonna run a triple max BKC with a double max BKR, guys. Like, <clears throat> don't fuck with me, guys. Don't fuck with me, bro. I have my shock max black cat set. Normal max set on max. Like, yo, let's fucking go, bro. I'm gonna start flipping hardcore. Guys, I swear, yo, guys, if this price is between 40 and 50 KCE. It is, no, this price is 50 KCE. I'm 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 making that shit easy, bro. That's only five mil, bro. Isn't 50 KCE only five mil? Yeah, that's only five mil. Cause five KCE is 500k. Okay, yo. So if it's 100 KCE, then I'm gonna have a problem. Depending on how many people want it, but I can easily make 50 KCE without buying anything or selling any Steam games. Only if I wanna, if I need, if he needs 100 KC, then I have to flip some Steam games. But yeah, you guys can do that if you want. Like flipping Steam games, you can sell them for a certain rate of CE per um dollar. Though I mean, you gotta use money for that. Like for me, I only do that after I get paid. I like dedicate, like I would say, like 50 bucks. Just like sell some Steam games, and stock up on some energy, buy some shit, you know, and then save all the rest of your paycheck and go do some shit in real life and just like enjoy yourself. How you do it, man? That's how you do it. How they recommend you guys get a job? Like that's really a that's really a good suggestion as well. Make money in SK, getting a job, spending fifty bucks on Steam, buying Steam games for people, selling them for energy. That's a great way as well. If you don't if you don't mind, even like even CS:GO keys, guys. You can like literally just put down twenty bucks, buy ten keys, depending on your currency, maybe eight keys. You know. Sell them 1.6k each, easy, 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 16k CE, and it doesn't take much, and that can last you your month, like, no problem if you know how to flip it, like, that can, that can last you forever, 16k CE can last you forever if you've actually decided to flip it and flip it and flip it and just don't spend it, like, <laughs> yeah guys, it's serious out here, do I want to put anything up, nothing I really want to put up on this, everything I put on my alt, yeah, it's funny. I'm flipping it from my alt now. Some people, some so people don't even know it's me. They don't need to know who it's going to, guys. Like people don't need to know about my money. They're like, oh, you're the guy who sold that. You sold that. Nah, you come to my alt and you think that it's me, someone else. You know, I have my my dealer identity. All right, what am I looking for? Well, that's pretty much it. Search dragon wings. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, guys, keys. Are they going for anything nice? No, they're not. 61, that's what they're going for. I can cock block. Fuck it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do in a situation like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect example, but I may be too late. Come on, 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 come on. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take advantage of people wanting the divine mustache right now, and I'm gonna steal their bids. Cause I got this mustache off a friend, so I'm just gonna go ahead. What's the next bid price? 64k. Fuck, bro. But then that also may screw me over as well, that's the thing. Only reason why I say that is because the next person may be able to put this divine mustache, like their own that they just got, for a bit less, and then let it bid up, but they probably wouldn't do that. Okay. So now they're not gonna bid on that if they can just bid on this. But like, see, I did it way too fucking late because I totally forgot about it. Oh my god, but if I if I caught this at short, when I was like at 50k, I easily could have bid mine for 15k and then 50k. And then they would start bidding on mine because like, I would sell it for that. So it's like, fuck, man. Hopefully someone else wants a divine mustache. And then grab it. Or they bid on it, like. We'll see. 
I only spent four point something K anyways putting it up. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah guys. See Ben's working on his FSC gear. I got this off of Fluffy Cactus for 3KC. Beautiful because it goes with my Kleos Cloak. Luckily I got a Shining Forge prize box. I got a 1 UV ticket, I put it on here, and that 1 UV ticket got me normal high. Bang! Skuller codes, just Skuller likes whatever. Rugged up code I rolled. I rolled a bit. Got that, like, it's just, just whatever. This one I was super lucky. Like, I got a 2 UV um, ticket from a Shining Forge prize box. Put it on, and boom, I got that. Like, I'm, I got super lucky with my Forge prize boxes. Like, when it came to the UV tickets that they gave me UVs, like the UVs that I get from those tickets, like, phew, phew, amazing. But when I spend money, they don't give me shit, like, yep, so it's gone. Yep. Alright, guys. But now we know that they, that the Divine Mustache easily sells for this, so I can go ahead and leave it and let it continue from here and make it go up, up, and up. That's how you take advantage of the situation, guys. So either A... It sells for the next up um, for the next price instead of the next person bidding on the original mustache they would have bid on mine, or B, now the other person is prevented from putting it lower because they don't want to, they don't want it selling for less than what they paid for it. And your starting price is already less what than what they paid for it. Pretty much after you do the listing fee, right? So like they're gonna have to hold their divine mustache for a while, and I get to put mine up. Now, anyone else who wanted to bid on this divine mustache who went to sleep and they missed the bid in the end, they're gonna be like, damn, it went for 63k? You know, they're gonna be like, damn, it, I really wanted it. Then they're gonna see mine that's been up, which I actually posted right then and there. Which is a different one, they're gonna be like, oh crap, they just posted it back up, I'm gonna bid on it, screw it. And then, boom. So that's when you take advantage of these kind of situations. Um, yeah, guys, I don't wanna draw you guys out too long. Um, but yeah, like, just, I'll show you guys, oh yeah, in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to acquire 5 star items on your alt, even though my alt is a squire. You people say that you can't equip them because they're 5 star, and you're actually wrong, and I'll show you guys how to do so in your next, in my next video. By the way, I don't have tier 2 or tier 3 clearance either. <laughs> I'll show you guys exactly how to do so. Haha. <laughs> Completely legitimate. No hacks. Just you playing the game and being smart about it and actually working the needle hole. Finding the loops. Alright guys. Peace out.